everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another installment of Pies Giving. Uh, this is by popular request. After our last video for the sugar cream pie, so many of you requested that I show you how I make my apple pie. I had to do it. So this is how I make my deep dish apple pie. Let's go see how we do this. Alright, we're going to get started with a little ingredient overview and then we're just going to dive right in. What you don't see here is a double crust pie crust that I have rolled out and already in the refrigerator. And you're going to need apples because we're making an apple pie. What I have here is six Granny Smith apples and four Honeycrisp apples, okay? And I have them sliced fairly thin about an eighth of an inch thick and what I have in here instead of apple instead of lemon juice I have apple cider in here about a quarter of a cup so we've got eight apples I like to mix them up granny smith and honeycrisp and a quarter cup of apple cider this is going to help to acidulate the fruit so it doesn't turn completely brown then we're going to make the filling for our pie and that's going to require a half a cup of all-purpose flour one cup of brown sugar packed I have one quarter of a cup or half of a stick of butter that I have cut into cubes. I have one tablespoon of apple pie spice and a half a teaspoon of salt. If you do not have apple pie spice in your area or in your country, I will leave a uh, alternative spice mixture on the recipe on my website. And I have a tablespoon of cinnamon sugar. This is going to be for the top of the pie. And I have an egg. We're going to make an egg wash for the top of the pie as well. We're going to go ahead and mix up all of the goodies here. Let's take our flour and our sugar and our spices and our salt right up in there. I'm just going to get my hand in here. Just try your best to get as many of the larger lumps out of that. Okay, now add this in and then we're going to get our hands in here. All right. This smells amazing. I wish you could be here to smell it because it smells fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hands off and I'll be right back with the pie crust. All right, we've got our pie crust. I had previously rolled this out and put it in the pie plate along with rolling out the top crust, which is still in the refrigerator, but this was in the fridge along with it. So now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just fill up our pie shell. And if you think that we have too many apples, bite your tongue. Trust me, when you make an apple pie, you want to make sure that you fill it really, really well. Because as this cooks, it's going to cook down and compress. And the more apples you have, the higher your pie is going to be. And there are certain places where you go and you get like sky high apple pie or mile high apple pie mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because they've crammed way a way lot of apples in that pie again I'm gonna rinse my hands alright I got this all in the pie shell I've got my hands all rinsed off and now I'm getting the other one dirty because I'm gonna just dot this with that half a stick of butter this is just a quarter of a cup of butter I've cut it into cubes all right, so I have rolled out, previously rolled out my top crust. And now, because it's nice and cool, I'm able to just lay it right over the top of my pie. And you want to press it onto the bottom crust. All the way around. Just so you've got the edge kind of going on here. All right, now what I like to do is I like to turn the pie crust inside underneath, just fold it under, all the way around. And like I said in another video when I was working with pie crust, pie crust is very, very forgiving, okay? So if you think that you've messed it up, think again, because you can fix it. I promise. See, like this over here isn't as bulky as I'd like it to be, so I'm just going to take a piece that I just tore off, and I'm just going to kind of press it in there. Now when you get the edge of your pie the way that you think you like it, 
just go around and smooth it all up together. Make it kind of happy. I know that sounds a little silly, but just make sure your edges are kind of all smoothed out, and then you can decide if you want to put a decorative edge on it, if you want to leave it the way it is right now, which would also be fine. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start crimping it. And all I do is take these two fingers and this finger, and I kind of... Here, I'll show you over here. I'll do it backwards, like this. It's very simple, and it doesn't have to look perfect, because pie crust in its own right is rustic, and there is a beauty in that simplicity, okay? We're not talking about a fine piece of artwork here. We're talking about a pie. And this pie is going to get eaten, and what's inside is going to be the real star. But you still want your crust to look pretty, I think. I'm going to grab a paring knife. Uh, and I'm going to grab a pastry brush. Do you see this extra flour here? I don't want that. So I'm just going to take my silicone pastry brush. I'm just going to kind of get that off of there. Now, I want a hole in the center, and I'm going to use a decorating tip. I'm just going to push down and give it a twist, and that'll pop right out. And then I'm going to go a couple of vents. at 3, 6, 9, and 12. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to beat my egg with a little bit of water. You can skip this step if you don't want to use the egg wash. This, this is going to give the pie a nice shiny appearance. It's going to be really beautiful. Okay, and our final step is we're going to sprinkle over a little bit of cinnamon sugar. This is also optional, but I love apple pie that has a little sugary crust. It gives you a little crunch on the top, and the cinnamon is so really fragrant, and it makes it look really pretty. So there you have it. Is our apple pie is ready to go in the oven. Let's put him in the oven. I have my rack in the middle of the oven, and my oven is preheated to 375 degrees. Now, one more thing. I'm going to let this bake for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put my pie shield on it so that my crust doesn't overcook. So we'll be back when it's time to do that. I wanted to bring you back because it took for 20 minutes, and I wanted it... I wanted to put my pie shield on it, but my pie shield is a little too small for my voluptuous apple pie. So, when that happens, because this pie shield usually works really well, but I did use a larger pie plate this time. This is a 9-inch deep dish pie pan, so you want to make sure that you have something to protect your upper crust here from getting too overdone before the rest of the pie is done baking. So you just take a strip of aluminum foil and I cut it down the middle so I have two pieces and then I fold each piece into thirds and then I just kind of manipulated it around the edge of the pie. Now this pie is very hot so I went ahead and I got my silicone gloves out and um, <clears throat> I wasn't smart enough to remember that I had these. Molly says, why are you using those silicone gloves? <laughs> So she's like, Mom, because <laughs> um, I was just using it by hand, you know, uncovered with my asbestos fingers because, you know, that's how I roll. But these are actually very nice, and you can manipulate that foil around the edge of the pie, and you are going to want to make sure that you kind of squeeze this, uh, this foil together if it will work for you. And then we're just going to go ahead and put it back in the oven. And we're going to bake it for another 40 minutes. And we'll be back when it's time to bring it out. Right. There it is. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. All right. Now. There's our pie. It's been in the oven for just about an hour. And you see how nice putting that foil on there. It keeps the, the edges from burning. Now my top is nice and brown from the cinnamon, and it's brown from being cooked, obviously. So now what you want to do is you want to walk away from this pie. 
you want to preferably put it on a cooling rack. I'm just going to put the whole thing on a cooling rack and I'm going to let this cool for at least two hours before we try and cut into it. If you try and cut into this pie too soon, it's going to leak everywhere and it's going to be very unpleasant. So, what you want to do is just let this cool before you cut it. When we get ready to cut it, we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. Here you have it. We're going to pull this beautiful piece of pie out of the pie plate and of course that first piece is always a doozy. This is the Rata ice cream spade that I just used to serve the ice cream onto the pie. And today we're going to be treated by Rata to one of these ice cream spades. They're going to give away one to a lucky winner. Now, the way that you're going to win this is when you see this post on Instagram, you're going to leave a comment and then I'm going to we're going to pick a winner from the people who leave a comment on the Instagram. And um, don't worry if you don't have an Instagram. You'll have another chance down the line, maybe on another platform. But I am sp spreading this around so everybody has the opportunity to win something. And uh, so the winner of the pie server from the sugar cream pie video is listed in the information box below. Congratulations to you and I know that you're going to love having this pie server in your kitchen drawer and having it for the holidays to serve up all that delicious pie that you're going to be making for Thanksgiving. So the winner has been contacted and they are going to be receiving a pie server. It's going to be shipped directly from Rada and all right so let's give this a try shall we? We have a little bit of everything, right, honey? Mm -hmm. That crust is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. um, the apples are not, like, turned to mush. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important to use a crisp apple. It has some body to it. The brown sugar makes it such a caramely delight inside. You're just going to love it. Mm -hmm. Now, when this came out of the oven, there was quite a bit of pie juices kind of hanging around this moat next to the crust. So I took my pastry brush and I just brushed it over the top. And now it has this beautiful glaze to it. Mm -hmm. This crust is absolutely gorgeous and flaky. This is my cream cheese pie dough. I'll leave a link below to the video where you can find this. It's so delicious. Mm. Mm. So, that is how you make deep dish apple pie. Super easy and really surprisingly few ingredients. Just get your pie dough ready, get those apples ready, put them together. It's a match made in heaven. Don't forget to go over to Instagram and follow me if you haven't already and leave a comment under the post for this deep dish apple pie and one of you will get selected to win the Rada ice cream spade. I'd like to say thank you to Rada for generously providing the prizes for the pies giving celebration that we're having and I wish you all good luck. I know that you're going to love it. I'm also going to leave a couple of links below for the ice cream spade and the pie server as well as the gift set that they have that contains both of them. It's called the Pie a la Mode set and you can go to Rata and you can check those out as well. I hope that you try this apple pie and I hope that you love it and until next time, happy pies giving! Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!